welcome water signs uh, this is the love readings for you guys it is for the pisces cancer and scorpions so i see some challenges that is going to be coming up in your relationship some of you feel helpless about what is transpiring in your relationship or your marriages a whole lot of problems a whole lot of situations that is happening and transpiring so I see you guys are going to be dealing with the Capricorns. Uh, some of you are going to be dealing with the Virgos. Some of you are going to be dealing with the Gemini women. Uh, some of you are going to be dealing with the Aquarians. Um, some of you, your marriage is going to be over. Um, especially if you're in a relationship or a marriage um, some of you I see you want a new start but there is so many challenges that is coming up so the center is some um, information is going to be coming out about a Gemini woman whoever this Gemini woman is that you're in a relationship with I see some sort of a information it can be a Gemini it can be an Aquarian or Gemini. Um, this woman could be asking for a divorce. I see this woman is going to be finding out that some of you have been having an affair with a Virgo. Um, I see um, that this Virgo is a friend of this person and I see truths are coming out. I see some of you um, um, try to offer a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, some sort of a love i see some information is coming from this lady um that is going to bring some sort of a worries to you so i see whatever that was happening whatever collaboration some of you were seeing someone this was a sort of a friendship um i see this friendship or this relationship is going to be over um however this is coming up and transpiring and affecting you in your world um, some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn and whatever the situation is, I see some sort of a, this Capricorn could have been a friend that is going to become a lover. And I see that uh, um, th this person separate themselves from you for whatever the reason is. The reason is that they found out about this Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person and it is coming out for, as a Libra. So some of you are going to be finding out that this lady found out or this lady this man whoever this person is found out that there was some connection um between you and a um aquarian person and they this is the reason why they separate themselves from you some of you are um no longer um connecting or opening up your heart to an aquarian a gemini or libran because you realize that this person has not been very honest um to you this person um have been um you know having all the um ideas uh, in their heads about your partner and um or about their friend's partner and you kind of separate yourself so i see some of you are dealing um with uh, some situation with a virgo where some information is going to be coming out about this Virgo that is going to make some of you very, very worried. Um, and um, it could be that this Virgo um, wants to see other people or is seeing other people. And this information is definitely going to be coming out. So um, be aware of this. And it has to do with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. Um, then we look at this Aquarian, Gemini and Libra person. Um, they are not showing any love towards you. I think they're moving towards a younger Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person. Um, I see a marriage. Whoever is dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45. I see um, this person wants to marry, but you are not ready. Okay. So whoever this person is, is in between the age group of 18 and 45, they want to marry but you're not ready yet and you're really thinking about this because there has been it's as if some of you are just coming out of a marriage with a Virgo woman 
and whoever this um young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is that is coming in they want to be married but you're like I was married before and it didn't really work out I need to find time before I make a decision a lot of you have your eyes on a Virgo woman this woman is like 50 years and older and I see um you are going to be finally letting this person know how you feel about them some unexpected news is going to be coming out about an Aquarian. Whoever is married to an Aquarian, either this Aquarian is going to be asking for a divorce or a separation, but you are going to be feeling endless. Whatever the information that is coming in from this Aquarian, you're going to be feeling very, very helpless. And this could have been your wife um, and you're going to be feeling helpless. So be aware of this um a whole lot is happening and transpiring when it comes up um to love um a whole lot of challenges situation with um people who are in a relationship with um the hurt sign people taurus virgo um i see that the 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 virgos and the capricorns are coming up so for the rest um for the taurus people i see that um things are okay but uh, for the young taurus and virgo person i see some challenges situation especially in marriage if you're married to these people if you're married to a, um a taurus Virgo or a capricorn that is 50 years and older i see a lot of uh, issues in relationship and marriages some of you are feeling helpless because your marriage is ending and there is nothing you can do okay some of you want to work on a relationship some of you are open to work on a relationship but it is not uh, um, up to you. Some of you are going to be finding out that if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra, um, they have some sort of uh, feelings for a younger Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And it could be vice versa. So you gotta be aware of this. So it's, it's gonna be about information, especially if you're married or in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. I see a lot of information, a lot of news is going to be coming out um, um, that you were not aware of. Um, I see a relationship is uh, or a marriage is going to be ended because of a, a financial um, situation. So be aware of that. So I see um, whoever that was in a controlling relationship, this is going to be over. I see that this relationship was just based on money, monetary gains. I see some of you are um, taking back the love that you were offering um, to a Aquarian, Gemini or Libran because you realize that this person doesn't deserve it. Um, a lot of you are worried, worried um, over a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn person, whoever this person is. A lot of worries is coming up, whether it's your wife, a lot of challenges for you and this person or a lot of challenges um, for this person. Some of you were mar mar um, in a marriage or wants to get married. So it's as if some of you, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, wants to get married to you, but you're not ready. But you do not want to, to tell this person. So you're sitting with some challenging situation that is going to be affecting you. So most of you were in relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. Um, you know, you could be finding out something about this person. You could be dating this person, finding out something about this person and realizing that uh, maybe it's not uh, um, um, the right thing to jump in this relationship. I see that this person um, wants to get married or maybe you're married to this person, but it's more as if this person wants to get married. And you just know this person and you want to wait a year or so to make sure that this is the relationship. So it's as if you feel as if this person is pushing you. And it is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the, the ages of 18 and 45. And it's as if this person is pushing you and you're thinking, um, I need to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. So some sort of a news is going to be coming um, to some of you who are in relationship with an older woman a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn whatever this news that is going to be coming in is going to be very worrisome and created some call some sort of a challenges time for you and this person so we see happiness and joy is going to be um 
returning in some of you some of you are going to be meeting um uh some of you who were having a relationship or a marriage that was on the rocks i see um happiness and joy is going to be coming in some of you who had a side piece stick and deal um you're going to be releasing this person and i see you're connecting with a virgo or a cancer so whoever was dealing with a Leo, I see you're releasing this person. Um, if you don't do it in this month, you're thinking about to release this person, whoever this person is, because new love is um you're seeing that this relationship has taken too much out of you, and you're kind of rebalancing this relationship. Then we see the Gemini and the Cancers. Um, so this was what I was saying. A lot of you um could be falling in love um with a gemini um this is this new love that is coming in and some of you could be um in love secretly in love with a gemini this is definitely going to be happening where either the gemini is secretly in love with you or you are secretly in love with a gemini then we see the energy of uh, neptune and mercury Neptune and Mercury, this is what I was saying about the Virgo, the Virgo and the Pisces. There is some sort of a, a connection with the Virgo and the Pisces. Um, here you can see this situation where um, the energy of the Virgo and the Pisces, and I see some sort of a um, news that is going to be coming um, to you, Pisces, um, from a Virgo. So be aware of that. Cancers are going to be having a new relationship that is going to be coming up with the Virgos also. So um, be aware and aligned with this energy. It is um, really, really positive. So positive alignment of energies that is going to be coming in um, with the Pisces and the Virgos. Uh, Neptune in Mercury. So there could be some sort of a secret love that is going to be coming out Wonderful um, love thing is transpiring because I see um, that um, some of you are um, attracted to uh, an, an, um, an Aquarian. A lot of you are attracted to an Aquarian or a lot of you um, could be in a marriage but yet still attracted to an Aquarian. Or some of you, um, your marriage is uh, failing but you're still attracted to your wife who is the Aquarian. So... It is um, a month where a lot is going to be transpiring and you can see it with the other energies of love. So go check out the Leos and the Aquarians to see how is it. Cross watch to see the Leos and the Aquarians to see how this is going to be affecting some of you and how is it going to be bringing out some sort of uh, um, um, issues of a positive alignment of energies that is going to be coming in. So I see some of you could be ending a marriage, um, ending a marriage with an Aquarian, um, ending a marriage with a, um, uh, a Aries, and um, you're going to be more attracted um, to um, the air sign people, okay? That's kind of weird, but yes, it's true. Uranus and Venus so fresh new wind is going to come in your relationship especially if you are in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, a woman 50 years and older I see fresh new um, wind is coming in so the challenge is time whoever is in a relationship with a, um, a Taurus um, woman I see some positive um alignment of uh, frequency is going to come back in your relationship so this is like fresh wind in your relationship so anyone who is in a relationship with a taurus woman 50 years and older i see some new fresh wind um is going to be coming in where um, um, um balance is going to be coming in after challenges time with this person um pisces and cancers um you are going to be affected especially the cancers um some of you cancers could be in a relationship with a taurus virgo and a capricorn and you are 
you know, you kind of figure out that this person wants to get married, but it's as if, yeah, it's not time. Um, Pisces, you're going to be ending your marriage um, with an Aries, um, yeah, or an Aquarian. Uh, you're definitely going to be committing to um, ending your marriage. You feel hopeless. You, you're going to say, okay, um, I, I can't deal with this anymore. So it's better that we end the marriage. So I see you Pisces are going to be realizing this is not working anymore. And I see um, you're going to be ending your marriage. It doesn't matter who you are ending your marriage with. It's as if you realize that this marriage is not working out for you anymore. So there is a lot of uh, um, issues that is going to be coming up that is going to affect in, um, you guys where um, relationship is like one of the forefront of what is transpiring and happening in your world. And you're realizing that it is time um, to, re to release yourself from a marriage. And it is going to be affecting you, Pisces, okay? So um, it is um, advisable to cross-watch. You guys need to cross-watch because some information is going to be coming in um, in this month, okay? Um, there's coming up some real challenges time. Some of you are going to be feeling helpless and alone. So transition coming up with the Tauruses. So whoever is in a relationship with Tauruses, I see it's going to be healing and a new life is going to be return. Um, a lot of um, falling in love. A lot of people are being attracted to people. Um, you're going to be finding out that people feel the same. A lot of new um, love is coming in. Um, a lot of you who are already is in relationship is as if uh, you are going to be finding some sort of a way in order to create and heal some balance because some of you are very lonely. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. You can be married to someone or in a relationship, but you are lonely because uh, um, whoever this person is maybe is not showing the same amount of love uh, and affection that you're showing to them and you are feeling very lonely and helpless helpless in some issues and situation because of um the existing situation that is happening around you okay so um it is um a really hard month when it comes up to love because a whole lot of you hair sign people are dealing with uh, things um that is affecting your relationship and your marriage um for people that are not in relationship you're focusing on um yourself and healing yourself because some of you could have uh, ended relationships in the months before or some of you had some issues with relationships a month before and you're trying to deal with this and heal this and end this however it is happening and transpiring in your world so i see wonderful um that some of you are going to be finding out ways and means in order to heal some sort of a relationship issues that is affecting you but expect a new love if some of you are looking for new love expect new love to come in a lot of you are going to be falling in a love that is uh, there a lot of you are going to be attracted to people a lot of you are especially people who are in marriages i see you're thinking um maybe it's time to let go of this marriage okay maybe it's time um to let go of this relationship so um because of the challenges that you're facing um this is going to be coming up for some of you um, I'm not seeing anything um, that is uh, um, exemplary. Um, the energy is that a lot of you um, could be meeting a Virgo, okay, or a Capricorn. A lot of you are going to be meeting a Virgo and Capricorn. A whole lot of happiness and joy, a whole lot of uh, um, high energies. Uh, um, that you used to feel is no longer there. Maybe it's just the outside influences that is affecting you as a person in a marriage or a relationship. But I see especially people that have been in challenges, uh, marriage or relationship. I think you're going to be 
just deciding hey maybe it's time i let go of this so that i can um find love coming in again so there is um just a lot of experiences um that some of you are able to face um challenges um that some of you have to face and it's important to face these truth are going to be coming out um um there is no question about this there is a lot of high energy when it comes on to a lot of you um could be secretly in love um with someone um and i see that um whatever is transpiring especially whoever is dealing with um um a taurus woman and there was some sort of a challenges this could be your wife or you were in a long-term relationship i see the challenges are going to be over um for whoever was in a relationship with a taurus but um when we look at the people between the ages of 18 and 45 um i see that um some of you pisces are going and cancers might end this relationship because it's as if um you're trying to figure out figure out figure out um whether or not they love you because it's as if they are focused on their world their business they're going through their issues they are focusing their focus is there and it's as if you're trying to figure out um it, you know do they really love me or um are they here in this relationship for the right reason okay so some sort of a news um some of you are going to be finding out that this person wants to get married to you but it's as if some of you are saying oh, yeah um this is not the right time i I really need to kind of figure out where I am professionally um, and it's, it's as if some of you are afraid uh, to get married and it's always listen to your um, intuition um, especially people who are dealing with um, the young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and I see it's not as if the love is not there it's about you trying to figure out uh, Am I making the right decision? Is it not too quick? Because it's as if you have met this person, it's not yet a year, but they're pushing you in um, a relationship, in a marriage. And um, you're like, I need to find my own stability in order to understand what it is I want. But a lot of you who are in a relationship with an Aquarian, a Gemini, or Libran, um, this could be someone you're seeing on the side you're going to start to really wonder if uh, you're in the right relationship. So, um, yeah, some of you, um, you're going to be wondering, um, should I leave my marriage or uh, should I end my relationship? Because I'm not sure of this person. Um, what is it that this person wants? It's as if you're, re you're, you're, you're realizing that um, you thought that this person um, wanted what you were giving them, but it's as if you start to question what this person wants. So you have to be really on top of your game with whatever is happening and transpiring because it's about um, you making the right decision for the future in this relationship. So be um, really... Take your time. Do not let anyone push you in anything. That is the main part. Take your time because I see um, that you're open in order to work out these challenges um, in your relationship. You're open towards it. You're, you haven't closed the door. Um, but with so much things from outside influence that's affecting your life, it's also affecting your relationship at this time. So it's not a matter of you're giving up or the other person is giving up. It's just that there is a lot of challenges, situation that is coming up that is affecting your immediate relationship. And there is where you have to find the time in order to resolve it. So this year is going to be, this month is basically going to be a month where a whole lot of challenges, there is no question about it. There is going to be a lot of challenges that is coming up in your marriage or your relationship. So um, 
you got to find a way in order to balance them out because what is transpiring and affecting your relationship is coming from outside influence. Wow, what a sign. It is a whole lot that is happening and transpiring. A lot of you, what a sign is going to be um, if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra is going to be ending that marriage or relationship or they are going to be ending it. It's as if they're going to be saying to you, um, air sign, uh, you are going to be saying to air sign people or they are saying it to you that they're ending the relationship um, because there is too much challenges that they have to face in this marriage or this relationship and they're going to be giving up on some of you. So be aware of it. Once you're in a relationship with air sign, and this is what I've constantly, constantly try to explain to people is that not all, um, you can only if you have uh, your cups on an air sign that you can be with air sign people, but sometimes it's just that you guys are clearing your karma with these love relationships. I got to go. Please like and share these reading. Um, and remember to go cross watch. Cross watch is a very, very, very important. You got to keep on cross watching to see what is coming up for your partner. If you're not yet a member of this channel, become a member. A link in this channel. Look at the top of this video. Um, there is where you can become a member. If you become a member at uh, from um you can pick up these uh, readings because they are in um extended form for each individual um zodiac sign so um the cancer get their own reading um the pisces get their own reading and this is the extended to this reading so ladies and gentlemen become a member it is wonderful there is so many other perks as you become a member, open up yourself in order to resolve whatever these relationship challenges that is coming up. Please like and share these reading. Leave a message. Let me know how it is. Um, it is um, a month of challenges, information, challenges that you have to deal because of outside forces that is creating issues in your relationship. I really do love and appreciate you guys. Um, cross watch to see what is happening to your partner your side piece chick or whoever cross watch and find out how this um is affecting the lives of these people um be open and aware um to the energy and what is transpiring in their world and your world i am saying namaste um till next time